aboard to the 2015 Naval Air Station Oceana Air Show. And now watch him as the airplane now goes up on one wing and he flies the airplane almost sideways down the runway. Once again, it's Gary Ward. Double knife edge tumble. Caps 
kicks it off with a snap roll and heads on out to the right hand side. MX2 is the latest design in high energy monoplane. With the exception of the landing gear and the engine mounts, all the components that are structural are constructed of carbon fiber. It's very fast and comfortable for an aerobatic airplane. The Lycoming I-0540 engine is pumped up by Lycon to produce in excess of 350 horsepower, giving him the ability to climb quickly to almost 3,000 feet, push over to negative G's, and now put it into an inverted knife edge spin coming earthward at over 4,000 feet per minute. Watch for the recovery. I love what Gary Ward is doing. How do you like it, folks? He wants to thank his great sponsors, MX2 Aircraft. You can find them at MX2 Air MXAircraft.com, Champion Aerospace, Lycon Aircraft Engine, MT Propeller, Airflow Performance, Bruce's Custom Covers, Peltor, Oregon Aero, Mary Control, Aircraft Radio Design, Goodyear, Electronics International, Gulf Coast Avionics, Hawker Aero Batteries, Skytech, and Data Toys Video Equipment. Over the top, hanging from the straps, looking down at this immense crowd here at Oceana today, he quickly goes square and heads it straight back down toward the runway. Much is just like the square Yeah. 
the sound. Here, you talk about the sight and the sound and feel the heat of that jet truck. The Blue Angels team out at the uh, comp cart out there got to feel it quite a bit. So as Chris Darnell takes his position out there on the runway and Gary Ward circles overhead, I want to ask you, how many of you think that the jet truck, the shockwave jet truck, will win this race? Make some noise. How many of you think that Gary Ward's MXS, MX2 will win the race? It's about even. Now I want to ask this of the next guy up here. He's the Blue Angels narrator. He's Captain Jeff Cooth from Durango, Colorado. Jeff, who do you think is going to win the race? won it yesterday, I think Chris Darnell did, right? Just by a little bit. Yeah, I think uh, Gary's got the, got the juice today. All right, we'll see what we can do. Stick with me, because we're looking at some kind of big power as we hear those afterburner pops. Remember that the afterburner gives this thing a kick in the pants just like any other jet engine. And the shockwave jet truck will use up a whole lot of gas in this thing. It uses 180 gallons of fuel per run. Now I'm hearing on the radio, I think we're going to have us a race. Chris Darnell's crew chief, Wayne Rachel, is out there on the line. He will watch Gary as he dives in, and he will give the signal for the race. He says, come on in. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for a race? Here we go! Oh boy, a little bit late start on the part of the jet truck, but it's quickly accelerating through 150. And as we are getting close to the spot, Yeah. 